Hey guys, just got done watching 1999's The Candyman 3 Day of the Dead. Whew, just finished it and I can tell you it is terrible. Let's go through the normal things first. It stars Tony Todd, Donna DiErico, Nick Corey, Alexia Robinson, Loop Ontrivers. What does it have to have these weird names? Uh, Donna De Erico can't act for shit. I swear she was just high because of the size of her breasts. So, normal DVD day. Disc. A little notes thing with her. You can see that. It's quite nice. I like that picture. You know the one of the candy man. That's the main star. Not bad looking, but oh, and there's a price list on the back. Not bad looking, but terrible actress. Okay, so where do I start? Oh, the film starts with our main star, Carolyn. Carolyn, basically. Basically, uh, uh, dreaming up about her mum in the tub, basically. She sees Annie come and wakes up. It turns out that Annie Tarrant from the original apparently kept getting tormented by the Candyman. And she ended up killing herself. Now, whether, now what does make sense in the second one, which is on Annie Tarrant, uh, the one we left off on the last review, she uh, she beats him he get, with the mirror thing and he basically turns shards. So, at the end of that movie, Caroline is going... The Candyman thing. She says four times she gets stopped. So they should do it, do it a fifth time. And then that's what caused it. But I don't know. You know. So basically. She's all upset. And then it turns out she makes these. Does these paintings of the Candyman. And they're what bring him to life. After they say his name in the mirror a few times. You know like usual. And basically. It's just bad. So the paintings get done and there's all this stuff and then people start getting killed by the candy man. And, oh, which, uh, when they talk about the paintings, they talk about how he got killed. And do you know what? In the second one, they show him laying down up against the tree, topless and that. In this one, he's got a top on and he's hanging from a tree, like like scarecrow-like, with a top on with bees on him. So they kind of, they completely changed what happened to him. Uh, like it's the same thing, but it's different position and different time of the night. In in the second one, it's during the day. In the third one, it's at night, so it's a bit. Uh. It then shows his relationship with Caroline's ancestry, and the woman who was called Caroline who basically ended up getting killed because he was sleeping with him because he was painting her and stuff and giving her the shillelagh. So I was like, not again, not all this crap about. Feel my pain, feel my pain, Caroline, feel my pain. That's what we kept saying for the movie. And will you be my victim? As in, I've got bees in my mouth. Would you be my victim? So that was quite annoying. So basically, people start getting killed, and she decides to go and see a medium. That's right, a medium. It was very laughable, really pathetic, and basically reports the same phrase to her about she's in danger. And you just sit there going, ugh. Oh. And it's during the Day of the Dead Festival when nothing happens in the Day of the Dead Festival other than an odd scene when they walk through it. Which is quite bad. Tony Todd is excellent as always, but he's even a little bit campy in this. And his special effects from the first two, cut in half. Uh, the hand that was really bloody kind of thing with the hook in it, it looks like a little stump with a little hook stuck in it. That sucked. And he wasn't wearing the same kind of clothing because in the original, in the original, now he looked so bad. Us in this, he looked like he was wearing a cheap overcoat. Um, so that was bad. And when they show his stomach and that, like they did in the others, it looks like cheap rubber effects with bees around it, which kind of, you know, which was really bad. And I'm a bit like, Ugh. then, uh, then there's a bit where he kills the policeman in the car. And she goes to try and get out. And the policeman goes on the neck and starts strangling her before he dies. And you're like, oh. 
Was he just trying to get some of those breasts in his face before he died? Um, the older police officers in it, one played Bellock in Prison Break. Can't remember his name, but he played Bellock. And they both sucked. He tries to get in the knickers a few times. And you're just like, oh dear. And then you get you get some you get some kills with Baze. You get a kill with Baze, which just sucks terribly because it's bad special effects. And you just sit there going, oh no. Then you then near the end of the film, you find out there's a cult, a Candyman cult. And thanks to Caroline's pictures, they feel bad for him and they want they want to worship him. So so he says, so the main leader boy goes, look, they all look emo to me and gothy. And they go over to the, she goes over to the mirror, the broken mirror, and says the Candyman thing multiple times. And he turns up behind the boy. And they go, Candyman, and he pulls the thing out of the guy's face, and he kills him. And I'm like, yep, good, 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 good. This is about bloody time. I want some people to die who deserve it. What would you worship someone like the Candyman? He, he's a crybaby. Oh, oh, I lost my life, my life, oh no. And you're like, oh. So, that made me think. And then to destroy him, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, to destroy him, she had to cut the painting, but she, she drew and painted. And that's what got rid of him. And then at the end, Bellet comes in, and basically he has a hook, and she, he gets shot, and she says, he's the candy man. So that the legend of the candy man can't live on anymore. Uh, even though technically the candy man would have been what? Let's say she was 18 or whatever or 30 or whatever. She was 5 or 6 in the second one. That would have been 24 years. So if he was about 40, it would have been about 16 maybe. And uh, he would have he wouldn't have been able to be the candy man at the time. So there's a lot of thing in that, but you're not supposed to think about this stuff in the movies. Let's see, what else was there that sucked about? Oh yeah, that Donna's acting, that Donna Diarico, her acting was absolutely dreadful. When she was on screen, it was like, eh, it was like watching a really, really cheap, pathetic, softcore porn film. You know those really bad ones, though, like Shannon Tweed in and all that. That's what she was like. Oh, you're excellent. Oh, oh it was dreadful. But, you know, the rest of the cast were fairly decent. Tony Todd was great. Just the film just sucked. And it was the final one in the trilogy. Thank God for that. Because I don't think I could have watched the fourth one. Oh. And they're apparently remaking it. It's apparently going to get a remake. I was looking it up and there's a remake coming. Is Tony Todd going to be in the remake? That's the question. I heard from what I read up, but it's going to be a white guy going around going, yo, what's up, pimp daddy, and all this shit. And you're like, why are people ruining everything? If they'd have left the Candyman movies to number one and two, it would have been a great double film watch. The fact that they made number three, which to me was like a cheap, cash-in, really crap, made-for-TV kind of movie, which just sucks terribly. And you just think to yourself, oh, like he goes to her when she's kind of fun, don't forsake me, don't betray me. And you're like, fucking do something then, just kill her. Do us a favour, kill her and slice her big ass titties off. Because she's annoying me, you know what I mean? That sounds terrible. But, you know, it's just like, oh. You just sit there thinking the first one was great, the second one was all white, and this one was dreadful. So... Whatever you do, watch it if you want to. Watch number one. If you like number one, watch number two. And then if you really must, watch number three. Yeah, watch number three if you must. I have to be honest, I would have watched it anyway if I'd have heard negative reviews about it because I like finishing off the series plus reviewing them. So, yeah. That's it, really. It's a terrible film. What's my rating? Uh, so I gave the other one what? Four, first one four four point five. Second one a three. I'll give this a one point five. 
Because it's nowhere as bad as April Fool's Day, the remake. April Fool's Day, the remake was dreadful. This is so much better than that. And I really don't like it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there you go. Candyman 3, Day of the Dead. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. And expect some more reviews tomorrow.